Hello everyone, my name is Fabio, and thank you so much for joining me for a very special episode today. For those of you joining me for the first time, this video is part of a series where I pay Fiverr artists to create stands for my own very favorite anime, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. The first video I made focused on original stand ideas I came up with, and now in this video, we are going to be taking a look at some incredible stands that were submitted by you, our beautiful audience. How are you doing today? Did you change something with your hair? It looks great. Anyway, before we get started, I wanted to take a second to thank the wonderful artists over at Fiverr. We are not sponsored by Fiverr, but the people on there are a genuine delight to work with and can really make some neat stuff. I'll be including a link to all of the pages in our description, so please feel free to check out some of the artists and give them some love. I'll also be including links for each presented stand down below for everyone to enjoy and share. Please remember to credit the original artist. Leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and please enjoy. Sanji, happy, Urupi, Urupi Number one, Abracadabra by the Steve Miller Band was an incredibly original idea submitted by Deku Cake. I love how they even included the localized name Alakazam here. The artist, Vince Kajam, did a phenomenal job at designing this stand. I really loved a lot of the a lot of the creative choices that were done here, and how certain elements like the stars seen throughout the body really tie this character together in such a great, great way. Now, Abracadabra is a mid-range utility stand with a power of contained teleportation. The user can select any two objects or containers and link them assuming they meet the following criteria. Number one, the object must have one major opening or entrance. Number two, the objects must be opaque or difficult to see through. And number three, the objects must be empty or have enough room to hold other objects. While two of the objects are linked, any other objects or things that pass through them will teleport into the other object. Although no obvious opening or portable will be present, but things like inertia and force will carry over. For example, if the user links two cups and tosses a coin into one cup, it will fly out the other one. Additionally, if the user would stick their hand, for say, into the cone of the cups, the hand would pop out one of the other ones as well. The objects will no longer be linked if either object is damaged or destroyed, or if the user links two new objects. Only two objects can be linked at a time, but there is no limit to how many times Abracadabra can change what objects are linked. Lastly, if the two linked objects ever touch, it will create a spatial paradox and Abracadabra will be dispelled. This was such a creative and fun stand idea, and a beautifully executed design here. Thank you to both Deku Cake and Fiska Jam for these submissions. Oh, seriously, beautiful job. Number two, next up is Mr. Brightside by The Killers, submitted by Arthur Siquiera Domeges and designed by the artist Blory Bede. An interesting I stand idea with a spooky cool design. Mr. Brightside is a humanoid short range stand with a more atypical ability of emotional control. It can change what the target feels simply by hitting them with the various colored lamps on its body. The blue lamp makes you sad, red is angry, yellow is happy, orange is nervous and anxious, white is calm, and black is depressing. This is a really fun and really fun to imagine all the intense, bizarre interactions this stand could have with some of the established characters from JoJo's. This was a really, really cool idea, and I think the artist did a beautiful job at executing this stand and really giving it an awesome feel that kind of made this stand, you know, really feel like it was embodying the philosophy and idea behind the stand. Three, three. At number three, next up is Smoke on the Water by the band Deep Purple. Submitted by Ashen Heart 667 and designed by Nurak Mal. Nurak Mal, this is actually his second time on the channel as they did a sweet job on my last video designing the stand Second Chance by Peter, Bjorn, and John. Let's thank them again for coming through with such a cool design for Smoke on the Water and coming back on the channel for a second time. I really, really dig the color choices here and the design for the gas mask here was awesome. Now, Smoke on the Water is a long-range stand that can oxidize anything via the ominous green gas that it produces, and that leaks out from the gas container on its back. I loved how the artist took some inspiration from the song as well, giving the stand a more aquatic appearance. I thought it was really, really beautifully done. Cake is <sighs> 
Manuke! At number four, we have Paradox by Happy, designed by Komodolas, also a two-time champion veteran coming back on the channel, who helped create the Kill the King stand that I got inspired by by the band Megadeth in my last video. Now, this was a really creative stain idea, and I loved how they put so much detail into the stain's description and use of its power. I feel like this one has some insane potential for some applications and versatility that I can't even think of yet. Now, Paradox is capable of putting an object into a form or position that it was from 1 to 10 seconds ago. The example provided was, imagine your opponent was standing with their back towards you, but after when they tried to attack you, you can put them in a state where their back was towards you again, allowing you to attack them. The greater the change in their position, the more stripes will fade away from each of the part of Paradox's body at a time. When all the stripes are gone, the stand has a cooldown period where it cannot use the ability. For its Requiem version, the stand gains more stripes, and these really well-designed horns over here, which I love. The stripes themselves now fade away five times slower, and Paradox can change the positions of things a lot faster. It even gains the ability to change its body parts and the user's positions as well. Now I love the look and pose of this stand. It gives it such an interesting aesthetic, and looks especially great in its Requiem form. The design of the horns and use of color here, especially with the stripes throughout the entire body, are just the bomb. In general, I really liked how the creator gave an aesthetic representation of their ability with the use of the stripes, and I can tell a great deal of thought was put into the creation of this one. Thank you again both to Happy and Komodolos for your efforts here. Seriously, wonderful jobs, guys. And at number 5, we have our last, but certainly not least, fan-submitted stand idea. We have Space Dementia by the artist Muse. Space Dementia was created by Milo Lex Purple and submitted by I and Re. I see what you did there. I was really impressed at the level of detail they had written, and of course I was really curious to see what this stand could look like fully realized. I of course was certainly not disappointed at this awesome design. The shading is on point here, and I really loved how the artist captured the feel for this stand in such an awesome way. Now, Space Dementia is a humanoid stand with the ability to make only other stand users hallucinate, which is an interesting and unique limitation. Now, this stand is capable of shrouding the user in another realm of reality by grabbing the user by the shoulders and ripping it into dust. However, this can only be done so for a period of 5 to 10 minutes before the user won't able to return back to normal and would eventually disappear forever. This ability can be somewhat extended through its enemies as it can temporarily disintegrate people into dust, and its victims can be stored inside the hollow holes of its mask through its eyes. Ooh, spooky scary. Its special ability, Shrinking Universe, can target a person and make their field of vision shrink as if it were shrouded by shadows. With this, they can slightly alter the victim's perception of time, making it feel as if time is moving terribly fast or agonizingly slow. A truly terrifying stand idea with a perfect design and a great attention to detail. I especially appreciated that Milo Lex Purple created this spectacular animated effect for me, which really helps express the vibe and feel for the stand a lot in such a cool way. Thank you both again for your work, this was a fun collaboration of ideas to see fully realized and I was really happy with this one. Sadly, this is all the stands we have time for today. Thank you again to everyone who submitted your ideas and to all the amazing artists that helped make them come to life. I really enjoyed making this video and I apologize to everyone whose submissions did not get picked. You all had some genuinely creative and fun ideas and I still wanted to thank you for your participating and coming back to watch the follow up video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I had fun making it and being a part of this whole experience. Feel free to leave us a like or even subscribe to the channel to get a heads up of some more amazing content we have coming your way. I would really appreciate it and it really does help a lot. As always, we hope you stay safe and have a great day. Arrivederci.